Heroin and its consequences have fought their way into the most innocent of lives. News 5's James Girardi taking us inside the NICU at Metro Health. The babies there share another side to Northeast Ohio's ongoing heroin saga. <laughs> the cute coo of a newborn inside a hospital. Really, nothing new. What is, though, is the scourge of babies born to mothers addicted to heroin. When they're born, they can start to have uh, a number of side effects, including seizures. In two years, babies born in Cuyahoga County exposed to drugs or alcohol while in the womb went from 330 to nearly 450. <laughs> These babies are born more irritable. They have difficulty feeding and gaining weight. Sleeping is a struggle for them, and seizures can be common. All side effects of withdrawals from the drug they grew dependent to inside the womb. It absolutely is heartbreaking, and we've seen, um, you know, this is an epidemic in uh, this country and, and in Ohio. You'll see tremors, um, irritability, high-pitched cry, almost like a scream. Come here. For 11 years, Metro Health nurse Mary Slusher has been the hands that hold these NICU newborns. She works directly with the mothers going through addiction and recovery and their babies, like little Daniel, two months old, still experiencing methadone withdrawals, his mom a recovering user. I would see this and then I would get angry. And then I decided that that's not that's not who I am, and as a nurse, you can't bring in your own judgments. There is one remedy, though, that even the strongest medicine can't provide. Come here, Buster Brown. Metro Health was the first Cleveland hospital to offer an infant comforter program. Volunteer Chris Baumhauer's been cuddling, coddling, and comforting newborns for years. I came in a little concerned that what I did for them might not work might not be effective. Initially fearful her touch would provide only momentary relief to their suffering, she realized even that is enough. Most often the baby being held gets comfort within the first few minutes. Doctors know there are necessities to help these newborns through their withdrawals. Morphine to help control the craving, a quiet environment to keep them calm, and perhaps most importantly, a comforting whisper, is it, is it? the vibration of a beating heart, and the touch of a human hand. It's so big. We all got it. So we all need it. The love we all feel from the moment we enter this world. So Some of us, though, need it just a little more than others. I'm sorry for little boys. I can't think of anything more important or helpful than comforting a child who is ill. For News 5 in Cleveland, I'm James Girardi.